We recently reviewed the all-new Toyota Highlander. Today, we're going to be taking a road trip in the all-new Toyota Highlander Hybrid. We'll be driving from Vancouver to Kelowna, about 400 kilometers each way. We'll give you our driving impressions along the way, and most importantly, when we're all finished, we'll give you our actual fuel consumption numbers. Toyota has done some very good work with this new Highlander. It's bigger to accommodate up to eight passengers and has more cargo room, but the fuel economy has improved. The base model now comes with a standard V6 engine and the prices have remained the same or dropped slightly over the 2013 model. The stance is wider and lower, making more of a visual impact. Combine this with a large grille borrowed from the Tundra pickup truck and the Highlander has a very rugged yet polished look that makes it more North American looking. You can see the full review of the gas version at drivingtelevision.com. Well, we're just outside of Kelowna and thought this would be a great time to stop and let you know that the drivetrain for the hybrid has also been changed for 2014. Power is provided by a 3.5 liter V6 engine, which along with the electric motors and a battery pack, produces a combined 280 horsepower. All wheel drive is standard, as is a continuously variable automatic transmission or CVT. Fuel mileage for the hybrid is very impressive for a three row crossover, rated at 6.7 liters per 100K in the city and 7.2 on the highway. Well, we are really gonna put this Highlander through its paces. We've got over 800 kilometers of very mountainous terrain, incredibly windy roads, and wide open highways. I've always liked the lighter steering feel on the Highlander. It just means when you're parking it, for example, in a tight place, it doesn't require that much effort. However, on the downside, it doesn't give you the most dynamic driving feel. This has been a fantastic road trip vehicle. It's incredibly comfortable, it's got adequate passing power on the highway, and I'm really excited to see what our final fuel consumption numbers will be when we get back into Vancouver. Well, that's it for our road trip. In total, we put on just over a thousand kilometers. We added up our receipts and calculated our real world fuel economy. We managed to get 9.5 liters per 100K, which is acceptable considering we're driving a large three row SUV that was fully loaded with all of our gear and driving on very mountainous terrain. If you want to see the review on both Highlanders, you can go to our website, drivingtelevision.com.